Welcome to Sunday, everybody. Today is a great day to go antiquing. Or to go to Chuck E. Cheese. Should we go to Chuck E. Cheese? Nah, let's go to the antique mall. Hello everyone, welcome and welcome back. If you haven't been able to tell, we are at the Lakeland Antique Mall here in Lakeland, Florida. This will be our third time going to the Lakeland Antique Mall. And if you don't know what it is, it's a very, very special place, especially if you were a fan of the theme parks, of Disney, of Universal, because not only do they have items in here that you can view and see with your own eyes, props, memorabilia, all of that good stuff, but some of it is actually available for purchasing, which is pretty darn amazing, especially as I said, if you are a fan of the theme parks as I am and I know a lot of you are as well. I love checking back in on the Lakeland Antique Mall because it is, it's different every time I go here. Um, they're always updating their wares and such. So I like to, I like to keep an, <laughs> I like to keep an eye on it. I like to check in on it uh, because if there's things in there, you know, that I might want to, I don't know, I don't have that much money. So I can't like realistically purchase a lot of things that I would like to ideally, but you never know. There, there could be some things in there that are just like a must have sort of thing. So anyway, I thought it would be a good idea to check back, back in on the good old Lakeland Antique Mall and see what's what, what's new, what's old, etc., etc. So without further ado, enough talk. Let's get going. Let's go. And just because St. Patrick's Day is over doesn't mean we can't stop drinking green drinks. Today's coffee is thanks to Lancelot. Thank you so much for always supporting the channel. Cheers, I hope you enjoy this one. One of the best things about the Lakeland Antique Mall is that it's right across the street from the Sunny's Barbecue, which, not gonna lie, probably gonna hit that up after this. In fact, Tampa J might be joining up with us in just a, in just a little bit here as well. So I think we're gonna get some food, we're gonna do some grocery shopping afterwards too, and just, have a really enjoyable Sunday. It's great because from the outside, it's such an unassuming antique mall. Antique malls in general are pretty awesome. I love antique malls and going antiquing. But this one is extra, extra, extra special. Oh yeah, a lot of snow globes in this booth in particular. A lot of the actual like props and uh, memorabilia and things like that are in the back of the antique mall, but you always want to make sure that you check out the, the other booths up at the front too, because almost everyone has something Disney related. This one in particular has a lot of snow globes. I got him in, I really like this Pocahontas one. That's pretty amazing. Pocahontas was like my favorite Disney movie when I was a kid. Also really like this black and white goofy here. Looks like he's eating a, a thing of peanuts here really like his face. It's pretty awesome. Also, Mariachi Donald over here too. Very cute. We got some peanut stuff over here. I've never seen a Snoopy phone before. I've definitely seen Mickey phones. But this Snoopy one is super cute. Especially because we have a beagle at home. Bella, a beagle. And Snoopy is a beagle. That's pretty cool. I'll have to show Tampa J that when he gets here. Last time we were here, it was during the spooky season and we were checking out all of the Halloween stuff. And Easter is right around the corner. That's the next major holiday coming up, so seeing a lot of Easter items here. Okay, more Duffy and Friends items over here. This is pretty awesome. These actually look like uh, lanyards, like cast member lanyards that I used to have myself. I'm gonna guess that that's probably where they, where these came from. I had one that had Belle on it, for example, and also the Cheshire Cat was another one that I had, but oh man, if I, I would have loved to have had a Duffy one. Also at this booth, we have some really vintage uh, guide maps and things like that over here. Eastern Airlines, the official airline of Walt Disney World, if y'all remember that. Looks like this is a points of interest area guide and map for out of town visitors. I bet that would be pretty darn fascinating. There's another resort guide here. I love Goofy doing some water skiing there. 
That's pretty awesome. And this guide map here says nighttime fun. We're open till one, June 11th to September the 1st. This is from 1973, by the way. I think they were still doing the ticket uh, books at this point, because this says eight adventure ticket book includes transportation, admission, and eight attractions of your choice. Adults, $5.75. Sense. Oh man, I wish. Oh, and check this out. It's a vintage postcard of the haunted mansion, my old spooky house. How cool. And we got a bunch of figments over here as well. I know a bunch of y'all are huge fans of figments. There's gonna be a figment meet and greet coming up very soon over in Epcot. I'm very excited about the, that. Got a bunch of Splash Mountain stuff over here too. Brer Fox, Brer Rare. Rare rabbit, one of the the crows there, vultures, sorry, excuse me. A, looks like a blankie over here too. And uh and a book as well. Got some Star Wars banks over here. I definitely remember these. This is a a two-set one, Qui-Gon and Darth Maul, and they would like fight each other. That's pretty cool. I can't remember if my brother had these or not but i definitely remember seeing them we did have a star wars bank for sure it was uh c-3po and r2 d2 these are also pretty neat we got some vintage jungle book characters little plushies over here too sheer kong and the elephant and blue nice Jungle Book was my one of my grandma's favorite Disney movies. We would watch it all the time over at her place. So I have very fond memories of the Jungle Book. Oh no, it looks like Ray Dunn has taken over the Lakeland Antique Mall as well. No, Ray Dunn. No. And it looks like someone snagged and is now selling their McDonald's Happy Meal Halloween little bucket things. Remember when we were all going crazy about that just a few months ago? Well, if you missed out on your buckets and you still really want them, you can find a couple, at least a couple here at the Lakeland Antique Mall. Actually, I think these are the exact two that we didn't get, AKA we only went once and we got the ghost one. So we didn't get the witch or, or I, sorry, the McGoblin or the McPumpkin, Punk, Punk, Nin. One. Okay, let's move on. We're now towards the back of the Lakeland Antique Mall where they have most of the props and memorabilia and such over here that you can actually purchase. Like for example, they have a lot of stuff from the Caribbean beach. I guess they must have just renovated this recently. Everyone's probably like, yeah, duh, no, no crap, Chris. But uh, I guess the pirate themed rooms that they had at the Caribbean beach. A lot of the furniture I'm noticing is here. A lot of pi <laughs> a lot of pirate themed things. And we got some tables and chairs, a heck of a lot of lamps here as well. Yeah, from their, from their pirate rooms. It's also a Jimmy Buffett's Margaritaville sign back here too. Neat. I'm also noticing some items from the boardwalk as well, which also was not too long ago renovated. Like this desk and chair here is from the boardwalk. I wouldn't mind grabbing something from the boardwalk. That's for darn sure. It's one of my favorite resorts. I see some photos as well, some pictures that I'm pretty sure were from the boardwalk too. And I guess this huge light lit it up horse here, meant for Christmas, Disney original prop, large Christmas horse used somewhere on property, $500. So that $500 Christmas tree light horse that you were looking for is here at the Lakeland Antique Mall. Also, Universal Studios Halloween Horror Nights Transformer Store, Scarecrow Stalk Display. That Scarecrow is here. Only $2,000. $500. Then they have a Halloween Horror Nights prop spider in here as well, used from last year. I think you remember seeing this last year when we went to HHN. It's 
pretty cool that it's actually here. And also good to see that they still have some chairs from the Monsters Cafe here too. $75, that's a lot for a chair, but considering it was used in that now no longer their cafe, it's kind of worth it. I don't spend too much time in this section. I feature it a lot, but lots of Halloween Horror Nights props in here. These aren't actually for sale. But it's just really cool to look at. And of course we have to stop and say hello to the Haunted Mansion section over here. Lots of really cool stuff. Lots of neat cups in here. Some plushies, mugs, candle holders. Even a, a cheese cutting board, which is pretty awesome. And I would totally buy it if it wasn't $70. But it is very, very substantial that's that's legit i've never seen that before also a pillow a leota tomb pillow pretty nice they've definitely switched up this section over here though a lot of shrek stuff over here I still have plenty of those 3d glasses by the way in case you wanted any but check it out in the queue line now defunct ride of Shrek over at Universal in the queue line they had the three little pigs cages there's this cage thing over here too of course this huge head of Shrek back in there it's pretty neat these are probably like I don't know the fifth or sixth tauntaun that I've seen so far at the Lakeland Antique Mall I thought the first one was just a fluke but now it's just getting ridiculous they all have this on their little paw so I don't know if they were defective or what, but they are going for only, just looked at the price, $15. That's pretty amazing, especially considering how much I paid for my own Tauntaun, Wonton the Tauntaun, who is back home, and definitely not defective. I think for me, the coolest part about the Lakeland Antique Mall is the fact that you can actually buy, you can actually purchase things that were once used inside of Disney hotels, like all of this art in here was actually used inside of hotels or somewhere on property and it's it's just amazing that you can actually purchase it and put it up in your own home if you wanted to and and not just art but like there's tissue box holders and light fixtures and just all kinds of, it's it's amazing it's just it's just amazing to me. Random stuff is some of my favorite as well. Like this uh, 1991 annual report for Euro Disneyland that you were looking for. Well, it's here at the Lakeland Antique Mall for only $15 too. Not a lie, that's probably actually pretty interesting. Also, no lie, my mom totally had this clock. Always time for environment, uh, environmentality. Nice. Wow, haven't seen that in a really long time. I haven't done meet and greets in a really, really long time, but it'd be pretty legit to roll up with a 2000 autograph book and get some autographs. That'd be pretty cool. Do, do the uh, characters even do autographs anymore? I literally have no idea. Comment below. Got some very old looking vintage Disney plushes over here, like this little Rue doll. Rue, what happened to you, buddy? He's definitely seen better days. It's kind of cute, though. In like a creepy, it's gonna come alive in the middle of the night kind of way. This is pretty neat. This little tile here says Celebration Florida, established 1994. It's pretty cool. You know who would like this? Adam would like this. Adam the Woo would probably like this a lot. We got a test track cast costume patch here which is pretty neat too. Oh wow, and all of these uh, construction helmets here are pretty cool too. And this one has a Chester and Hester's Dino-Rama sticker on it. That's pretty legit. And I gotta admit, I had no idea that the Haunted Mansion came in Lego form. That is adorable. It even has a little butler that comes with it. Wow, $30. Should I buy this? We could build it together. That would be pretty darn cool. Look at the inside of it. It has some ghosts in there. It looks like it has some portraits in there too. Okay. 
Might have to buy this. Legos are usually pretty darn expensive, so I think $30 isn't too bad. Lots of interesting things in this booth over here. A lot of vintage Disney items. Specifically Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, which is one of my favorites. She is my favorite Disney princess. And check this out. There's a Christmas tree skirt in here. Never been opened. It's sealed. $165. Dollars. That is pretty amazing. And it looks adorable. Oh, look at that. Yep, that is adorable. That is really, really cute. There's also a park used conga drum here as well. Sounds pretty good. Oh, yeah. And that toothbrush you were looking for, that Disney toothbrush, $3 even gives you some ideas of how to brush your teeth. And I don't think we're gonna be coming home with a $395 All-Star Resort trash can this time, but there's always the dream of it. There's always the dream of owning a Disney trash can. There's still time. Oh, these chairs are definitely from Animal Kingdom. And if this wasn't uh, kind of disgusting, I would totally buy this for Bella. Look how cute this is, a little vintage 101 Dalmatian dog bowl here. Super, super cute. And this is pretty darn legit. A Pleasure Island shirt with the moon mascot here and everything, rightfully so. Rather expensive at $75 or I legit would be buying this for sure, even though it's probably been used and it's way too big for me, but man, a Pleasure Island shirt. That's really cool. This is also adorable. Janet from Fort Wilderness Resort. This was once her jacket. And check out the back. Oh my goodness, Mickey and Minnie and Pluto in their little RV with the bicycle on the front. Goofy and, and Donald are camping, tent camping back over in there. Oh my goodness. This is so stinking cute. It's a hundred and ninety-five dollars, so dang you, Lakeland Antique Mall. A chair, a Monsters, a Monsters Cafe, Cafe chair, yeah. So these, these are from Dracula. Yeah, these ones here. These were these the sci-fi The sci-fi area. Uh-huh. And I think that was, I don't know, maybe Frankenstein or the Mummy, I can't remember. Mummy. Those are from the Mummy, mummy chair. Oh, okay, yeah, it's yeah. from the Mummy section. Okay. If you had to pick one chair, which one would it be? Ooh, that's so hard. Yeah. The Mummy would fit in more with more stuff. Uh-huh. Sci-fi one's cool though. Yeah. Mine would be the Dracula I think, chair. Yeah, I think I like the Dracula. Yeah. Okay, when we get our new apartment, if they're still here, <laughs> we'll get a, a Dracula chair. Deal? Deal. So these ears were definitely a choice. Happily ever after. Nothing too weird about that. But then you turn it around and it does say established January 8th, 2000. So a choice was made here, evidently to sell these ears. I don't know what happened to that love story, but they're here. January 8th? Yep. 
That was my dad's birthday. Oh yeah? And Elvis. 2000. Well, somebody got married and then decided they didn't want their ears anymore, so RIP that marriage, I guess. I'm gonna assume. Happily ever after. My butt. These cast atlases are pretty neat too. Just happened to pick it up and look at it. First of all, it's from MGM Studios, so you know it's gonna be old and you know it's gonna be good. There's lights, motor, action down there, Catastrophe Canyon, uh, the great movie ride, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, lots of good stuff. Voyage of the Little Mermaid, all oh, those were the days. Take me back. Good find Tampa Jay, we were there yesterday. It's a Fisher Price, Sesame Street little playset here. And I here. think One, I two, remember three. playing with this. Yeah? At one of my babysitters had this. That's so cool. That's adorable. I definitely had this one too. Yeah, the little the barn, family Fisher farm Price. we were just talking about. It's classic. Yeah, my mom definitely had Sorry, that, had that too. as well. Holy moly, somebody is cashing in on their Brer Bear figurine Whoa. collection now and Brer Rabbits and Brer Foxes. They're expensive too. They are very expensive. $2.95 each for Bear. Wow. The salt and pepper shakers of the Columbia and the Mark Twain. Dude. 14 bucks, hey. That's actually Disneyland. really, really darn cool. Amidst all of the Splash Mountain stuff over here. Yeah. Like this is all Splash Mountain. If you're jonesing for some Splash Mountain it's stuff, Lakeland Antique Mall legitimately is gonna be your place. A lot of really amazing vintage Disney stuff in this booth over here, like this Pirates of the Caribbean model set here. That is amazing, $595, Ooh. holy moly. We also really like the Winnie the Pooh set up in here. They are so stinking cute. It's adorable. Oh, and they have a Haunted Mansion model kit Ooh, that's cool. over here too. And Tampa J also pointed out this really cool cookie jar. I love that cookie jar. Blood on the saddle, blood, right? Blood on the saddle. And I just realized this blanket here is Port Orleans. This is a Port Orleans blanket here, which I, I wonder if this was maybe a comforter that they had on their beds. That's amazing. I wish there was a price on it because that's something I would seriously consider buying. I love Port Orleans. We went there a lot uh, when I was a kid. They had, they had really, really good pizza at Port Orleans. Someday I'm gonna talk about that. But yeah, that's that's pretty that's pretty darn cool. Okay, go ahead. Okay, this is the most expensive thing in here. It says 1947, a rare Torador from Ferdinand the Bull produced by Zach Zach Ignini. I think I pronounced that right, but it's sixty five hundred dollars. That's the most wow. expensive thing in here. That's amazing. Also, right behind it, that Dumbo cookie jar. That cookie jar is awesome. We totally had that. You had that? Yeah, we totally did. No way. Looks like it's gone for $66. So not as much as the figurine in front of it. That's Still, not bad. A lot cheaper cool. than the Country Bear cookie jar. That's true. Oh, and check out the wind-up toy soldier over here. $425. Wanted to point it out because, fun fact, my brother was a toy soldier in the Disney Christmas Parade many, 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 many years ago. But yeah, he actually was one of the toy soldiers for that parade one year. So, very cool. Shout out to my brother, which by the way, it's his birthday today. Happy birthday oh, to my brother. Birthday. So there you go, full circle. I don't know about you, Tampa J, but all these antiques are making me hungry. Do you want to get some food? Yeah. Yeah. They're making me hungry too. Yeah, okay. Let's <laughs> I saw get... some fake food over there too. Yeah? I was about ready to pick it up and eat it. Oh. Let's do it. Let's go to Sunny's instead. You, you wanna go Sunny's? to Sunny's? It's a Sunny's day. Okay, let's go. Always a good time at the Lakeland Antique Mall. As I said, I always like to come back, check on it, see what's new, what's going on in there. You know, we've had some land closures, some theme park news that have happened since the last time we here we were here at the antique mall like Fiebel uh, all of like the Fiebel area yeah you know has been taken down over at Universal I was kind of hoping to see some yeah, Fiebel goes so west too. stuff in there but nothing nothing yet nothing yet yeah we'll so check back. oh well 
We'll be back, Lakeland Antique Mall. We will be back. We'll keep out our lazy eye. Lazy eye. It so, got sunny. It did, yeah. We're gonna go to Sunny's across the sunny, street. Sunny, sunny. Do you wanna tell the people a short thing of what you did today? So I was in South Polk County and I created a video on my roadside attraction series and uh, it's coming out soon. Actually, Check it out. It'll be out tomorrow. Yeah. So. But uh, yeah, I, I explored a little town called Homeland and a little heritage park and also um, went off the beaten path. Yeah, it was fun. Yeah, you showed me some pictures. It looks really cool. I'm excited to see it. All right. Okay, let's go get some food. I'm hungry. It's also the first time I've walked out of there without having purchased anything. I almost got the Haunted Mansion Lego set, but I decided at the last minute not to. Just because $30, I don't know. That was a little bit more than I was willing to spend. And let's be honest, are we really going to... Do I really have the time to put together a whole Haunted Mansion Lego set? I really don't think so. So, uh, no good old fashioned haul video at the end of this one, but that's okay. There's always the hope of next time. All right. <laughs> Let's go get some food. <laughs> I mean, why go inside though when somebody left a bag of Sonny's barbecue Ooh, right here on the side find. of the curb? Should we just grab that instead? That's everything we cash? want to order right there. Probably, more than Guaranteed. likely. And instead of eating the mystery bag outside on the curb, we decided <laughs> to go inside and actually get real food. I got my grilled cheese and fries and Tampa J. Got a burger. Also, sweet teas all around. Gotta get the sweet tea. Oh yeah. So I just had a revelation. We just had a revelation as I was sitting here eating our food. It is St. Patrick's Day weekend. It sure is, and I have had my fair share of potatoes. Both have. Starting Thursday, we were at Sonny's to celebrate my mom getting out of the hospital, and I had the same thing, grilled cheese and fries. Friday, Jay made potatoes. Fried potatoes. Red potatoes. Red potatoes. Yep, so we had that for dinner. Yesterday, at SeaWorld, I had two helpings of waffle fries. And then at Del Taco, I had another thing of Taco crinkle place. cut fries. <laughs> and now today, Sunday at Sunny's, once again, crinkle cut fries and grilled cheese and this uh, sweet potato. And we didn't order this. It we just did not. Up. So I, I've never had a sweet potato, sweet baked potato before. So I thought I would give it a shot since it was here. And it comes with a little cup of brown sugar, which I've also been enjoying. And potato salad. Potato salad. That's a lot of potatoes in a very, very short amount of time, Tampa J. I don't know how I feel about this. You are dating a very Irishman. I evidently so. <sighs> I gotta find something else quick. Why don't you bring this potato? That's pretty bad. Mom, you're always trying to give me potatoes. What is it with you? I just think they're neat. Okay, so after eating at Sunny's and then going to Target and doing a couple of errands, we're finally gonna go ahead and end this video. Thank you all so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. Hopefully you had a good time. And um, yeah, got a lot of videos planned up ahead here. Really appreciate you all as always. And I'll see you all very, very soon. I'm gonna keep it short, sweet, simple, and to the point this time. Very rare on this channel, but that's, uh, that's pretty much all I have left to say. I'm gonna drive home and edit this video and probably go to sleep early because I am exhausted. Actually, we're both quite exhausted. Make sure you check out Tampa J's video as well because he had his own adventure today and I know it's going to be awesome as it always is. So thanks all for watching. See you very soon. Bye-bye everybody. Bye-bye. Just kidding. We're going to Dinosaur World. Video's not over yet. Just kidding. We're not going to Dinosaur World. Bye dinos. They're in there though. You see them?